Alrighty, we're back here and we're gonna do a nuclear sandworm. And if you use if you happen to use a freshwater hook, you can make a freshwater eel or uh, what do I want to call it? Anyway, right now we're concentrating on something here for the sandworm, salt water. It's going to be lime green. And we're going to be using something I invented a few years ago called Cornell. Unfortunately, the manufacturer has since done away with a lot of the colors. But, I can dye a few of them. Now, where'd I get that pack right here? This it happens to be a braided chenille, part cord, part chenille. That's where I got the name Cornell. Has a wire running through it. It helps in the strength. And as you can see here, what I'm doing, I hooked it through, coming through this way. We're going to go down to here. galvanized wire in it but it never rust as long as you rinse your flies proper salt water fly care is to rinse them dry them out I've used fresh water hooks in salt water many many times let's see how long we're gonna take that one we'll take it right about here and what we're gonna do right here Got that wire up in there. Give it a little dab. Wet the fingers on a wet sponge. We'll pull that right back out. Hit that in there. Those fibers are bound. Now, if you wanted to, I imagine you could wrap this up here with a saddle hackle. But then again, this is nuclear flies. As a matter of fact, I'm putting together a tape now, nuclear top secrets for DVD, and it's going to have one part in there that you buy DVD, even though a lot of these are going to be up on YouTube. This might be where you're seeing it. Buy the DVD, you'll find the top secret on how to save time on tying flies. I would give it away over YouTube, but most people do not have the security clearance for it. Since these are patent pending products, someone out there, even though I utilize get little dab super glue, you can see I got a whole bunch in there. We'll take that off and wipe it again on my trusty pants. I don't recommend that too much because you can get a rash, use a rag. All right, let's zoom out here. I'll show you how we're going to do this. You see what that is? Get that one right there. Turn that over. Now it's pretty well cut. Same way my loop is. As you can tell, I got my loop right here. Boom, boom, boom. Just regular old nuclear tie-in. We'll trim that up a little bit. Whip finish by hand again. are nice and snug. Now we'll give a little dab up top. Around there. And this one here we're going to take half here. Pull it back cut. So you can see and 
grab that, pull that, cut it. Anyway, that nuclear top secret will save you a lot of time. This here again is lime green nuclear mission wing. It's mixed in with the perfect amount of UVA pearl. We'll get this back here, fire up the trusty Black & Decker. Here again, if you haven't seen all the videos, Black & Decker does own DeWalt, everybody else. And this is variable heat. Goes from 100 to 1,000 degrees, the models that you can get now. You have to, I keep mine at three and a half for this, but mine goes from 100 to 1,100. So tie up a couple flies, try them out. Yeah, it's pretty iridescent. All right, get that light back where you can see everything. Keep it out of my eyes so I can see. She's crusted up. And if you want, you can tie her a little thinner. Here again, sand eels, I mean sandworms don't have eyes on them. But then again, if you wanted to put eyes on it, get just a little dab, low melt on there, that'd be able to come off if you want. There you go. If you want to have some low melt on there, I mean uh, eyes. And if you didn't, this one is going to get eyes. For the simple fact here again, it rattles. Got little streamers on there, as I mentioned before, let it cool up. That'll come right off. Don't heat after you put on these plastic doll rattle eyes. These yellow ones are wholesaled by Wapsie. A lot of fly shops carry them. If they don't, I'll be carrying them at 1afly-fishing.com. Because as you can hear, they attract those fish. Now you'll see that tail there. It will pretty much straighten out when you're fishing. Hydraulic action of the water. If you wanted to pull that wire out that would be fine but I'd recommend putting in Polaris Hackle Guard. And there you go. Oh, if you want for barracuda flies You tie that up a little bit more. But anyway, you can braid this. You can use two colors. I have it also in a metallic corneal. Part cord, part chenille. Next time.